So, what's up? I'm Toy the Lazy. Music is a big part of the Zulu nation, big part of my culture. Ishawi is where I spent eight years of my life. And yeah, those years mean a lot and they attributed a lot to who I am right now. I started playing keys like when I got to grade three at my convent school. And um, that's all I played. I wasn't exposed to any other genres because they weren't allowed. Like secular music wasn't entertained as well in high school. So I decided to write my own music because I felt if I write it, it can't be bad. Although I wrote a lot of music, I used to just play keys and I didn't sing. I used to give my music to my friends to sing because I didn't know I could sing, I was too shy. But then after I lost my mom, she was a big part of my life and inspired me a lot. And the only way I could comfort myself was through music. So then I started singing and some mates heard me sing and they thought it sounded cool. My, my family didn't really want to like support this vibe of going to do music in Durban, you know. So I just had to make my decision and do it on my own. When I sang, I just felt, felt happy. So I decided to go do jazz at Howard College. Um, my friends helped me a lot. I slept over at their houses. I squatted for months. I hustled hard, eh? Like, yeah. I'm grateful for everyone that supported me, you know. Despite all that, my granddad still got me my first key, like my first keyboard, a nice one. And um, I wrote my first demos on there, like my songs with you. And it turned out amazing, because then that introduced me to the Winston. And my friends were running the place and they invited me for my first show ever there. And I didn't even know I could sing as well as I do now, but it turned out pretty good. I met the most amazing people who would would coach me on this whole journey, like living out in Durban, the big city for me at that time. And they told me when I was wrong, when I was right, and they encouraged me and helped me. So my fashion sense is random. That's how I'll put it. It's not like I get up and I put everything together. I don't know how it works, but I'm inspired by my fashion forward mother, who had the most random style in fashion, and she'd wear anything and look beautiful in it. And I tried, it didn't work. Only now I got to like figure it out. And my style now is also boosted by the fact that I'm part of um, Reebok. I'm the brand ambassador. So my style, how can I put it, is a mix of streetwear and um, vintage. I put that together, I can go wherever I want if I'm dressed like that. I can look funky and I can look elegant at the same time. I sing to remind people, especially how special they are, how amazing life is, and no matter how hard it gets, that there'll always be a way out. And that brings me to the name of my album. I called it Two Drop because no matter how bad it gets eventually, you'll always see the light at the end of the tunnel. And that's what happened to me and I'm, that's the experience I'm sharing with everyone. I want to travel, I want to go around first Africa because I'm getting a lot of love from the continent. Africa has actually embraced it, everyone identifies with what I'm speaking about. It just shows that, you know, we all one in this whole experience, like, we, we understand each other. And, um, and I want to go abroad, definitely Europe. Europe is top of my list because I speak quite a few European languages so that will help when I'm over there and they like good music, they like music on keys so that will also help. My mom was also one of those ex people that went around the world, collected a lot of items, lived out the box, was outspoken but still humble and I, I got some of that spirit. So at the end of it all basically I want to say that I've experienced, I've lived. What my fans can expect for the future is unpredictable. Basically, it's going to be my experiences, heartbreaking, happy, crazy. And I'll translate that through my music because it takes a lot to make a classic. And that's all they got to know. <laughs>